Hi friends, welcome back to Team Education. Friends, in this video, we are solving problem on application of derivatives. Given problem is show that the curves 6x square minus 5x plus 2y is equal to 0 and 4x square plus 8y square is equal to 3. Touch each other at point 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2. Okay friends, to solve this problem, first we have to identify the key points. What are the key points here? Uh, once again, I am reading this problem. Two curves. This is the first curve. You consider this is the first curve and this is the second curve. Uh, first curve as a C1 and second curve as a named C2. Touch each other. Yeah, this is the key point. Touch each other means what? Uh, do you remember angle between two curves when we can say touch each other? Is M1 into M2 is equal to minus 1 then can you say touch each other? No. Whenever you have M1 into M2 is equal to minus 1 then we can say two curves are cuts orthogonally. We can say only if M1 is equal to M2. Okay now friends. So if M1 is equal to M2 then we can say two curves are touch each other. So what we have to do now? We have to find out the slopes for C1 curve and C2 curve at which point 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2. Okay now friends. Friends now I will show you C1 and C2 curves are how we intersect and how it is touch each other at the point 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 by using GeoGebra software. Okay. Friends uh, now I am showing uh, given curve is 6x square minus 5x plus 2y is equal to 0 is the first curve friends. So this is a x square they are given uh, so which is a parabola. Okay. So even powers of x so symmetrical about the y axis. Right. So this is the curve friends, first curve and the second curve we have a 4x square plus 8y square is equal to 3. Uh, so you see friends, this is uh, like 4x square plus uh, 8y square is equal to 3. Now uh, what they are given at 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 touch each other that we have to find it. Okay, now I will uh, maximize this uh, once you observe friends. Uh, now I will show you the intersecting points for these two curves. Okay, intersecting points you see. Uh, this is the first this is the first curve and this is the second curve okay now intersecting points you see where it is intersecting so these three points first point is a second point is b third point is c i told you in a previous session the curves may not touch may be touched if those are touching at least one point okay now here you have a more than one point but where we dis where we are discussing at 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 Okay friends, now I will show you uh, 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 point is this one or not. Okay, now you see friends, now I will show you the value also for you. Right, you see 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5 is nothing but what? 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 only. See, uh, these are touching each other or not. So, like this it will be touching each other. Okay, now I will solve the problem. Okay friends, now coming to the solution. Uh, now what we have to do, we need to find out the slopes and we have to prove these two slopes are equal. So first you write in the given curve, first curve is what you have, 6x square minus 5x plus 2y is equal to 0 is the first curve and the second curve we have a 4x square plus 8y square is equal to 3. So first curve slope we are finding now, for that we have to differentiate with respect to x, okay. Now 6 is a constant, x square derivative is what? 2x minus 5 into x to derivative is 1 plus 2 is a constant y derivative is dy by dx which is equal to what 0 0 is a constant constant derivative is again a 0 okay now this will be 12x minus 5 plus 2 into dy by dx is equal to 0 friends we need to find out slope so what we require to find dy by dx value so d2 into dy by dx keep left side Write down the remaining parts uh, in the right side. Then you will have a plus 5 minus 12x. Now I want only dy by dx. So dy by dx is equal to 1 by 2 times of 5 minus 12x. Friends, this is a, we can denote with what? M1. Okay now, this is we are denoting with a M1. Now we have to find out M2. For that uh, you have to differentiate the second curve. With respect to what? X. If you are differentiated with respect to X, then you will have 4 times of X square derivative is a 2X. Plus 8 is a constant. Y square derivative is 2Y into DY by DX. 
is equal to 3 is a constant, constant derivative is 0. So, it will be 8x plus 16y into dy by dx. 8x plus 16y into dy by dx is equal to 0. We have to find the slope. So, we need to find out the value for dy by dx only. So, 16y into dy by dx is equal to minus 8x. So, dy by dx is equal to minus 8x by 16y. Minus 8x by 16y. So, you will have 8 ones are 8, 8 twos are 16. So, minus x by 2y is the second slope. So, I am denoting with the minus 1 by 2. Friends, we have m1 is equal to 1 by 2 times of 5 minus 2lx and m2 is equal to minus x by 2l. Now, what we need to do? We have to prove two curves slopes are touch each other. It means two curves are touch each other. Nothing but we have to prove the slopes m1 is equal to m2. At which point? 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2. Friends, you observe here, 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 is representing what? x comma y values. First point is x is equal to 1 by 2, y is also what? 1 by 2. So, m1 I am finding uh, at the point p 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 is, uh, here you have 1 by 2, 5 times of 12 into, what is x here? 1 by 2. So, if you simplify it, then you will have 1 by 2 times of 5 minus 2 ones are 2, 2 6 are 12. So, this is a minus 1 uh, into 1 by 2 means minus 1 by 2. m1 at the point 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2 is minus 1 by 2. Now, I am finding m2 at 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2. Here you have x and y. You know that x and y both are what? Equal. So, those will be getting cancelled. Directly I can say m2 is equal to 1 by 2. So, friends, here what you have? Finally, what we are concluding? Uh, we got m1 is equal to m2. So, the curves c1 and c2 are touch each other. Where? At the point 1 by 2 comma 1 by 2. Already I have shown in the graphically. Okay, now. Thank you for watching this video.